Hello guys, today I want to show you one thing with Eloquent where you need to be careful about ordering of the functions in Eloquent sentence. For example, if you use with count or any kind of grouping like with max or with average, and then you use select, be careful in which order you do that. And also we'll show you a few more tricks along the way. So here's an example in the database. We have users and comments with has many relationship user has many comments and we want to show users with comments. We launch that in the Tinkerwell and this is the result, which is fine. User and the amount of comments. Cool. And by the way, side note, I think many of you didn't know about this str plural. So for example, if you have the amount of comment, but you want to show that as six comments, for example, with plural, but one comment if it's singular. So this is the way str helper, or you can use str class from Laravel plural function. This is the singular form. And this is the number which may transform that singular form into plural form, of course, with English words only. So yeah, that's kind of a side note. But what I want to emphasize here is if we add name, because we should probably optimize eloquent query to return only what we need to return. So we need only the name. We don't need all the fields of user email ID and stuff like that for this case. So we could save the bandwidth and memory to download only the name. And this seems like a legit query, right? But we run it and we have empty comments. Why is that? Let's take a look at SQL queries that were executed. So the Tinkerwell shows the query of select name from users. So the thing is, if you use with count before the select, it will be ignored. What you should do is with count after select like this. And another kind of side tip, if you want to keep the grouping like this, one sentence per line with indentation, a convenient way is to have user query and then add the conditions line by line. This is to avoid having this, which is not that pretty. So anyway, user query select then with count, we launch that and we have a proper query with sub select of comments and proper results back with the numbers. So yeah, this is not really a bug of Laravel. This is kind of by design how it works. You should probably while running SQL queries as well. First, you select what you want to select and then you group by whatever you want. So this is a similar thing here. So I just wanted to shoot you kind of a friendly notice reminder warning video with a tip that you need to be careful about the order. And if you want more eloquent tips like this one, I have a full course full of those tips called eloquent expert level available for premium members as well as around 60 other courses. And I will link that course in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.